Okay, so I'm going to show you how you can dominate the European Google. So this right here is you, right? And you want to dominate European Google. That is rank first in Portugal, Spain, France, Germany, Italy, right? All these European countries, right? How do you do this? How do you conquer all of these Google? So this is you in all these countries ranking first for multiple keywords, right? So how do you dominate Europe essentially? So it is quite straightforward. Right, what you need to know to do, sorry, and I'll give you an example that hopefully makes it easier to understand. Let's say, for example, that I have a Shopify store, right? I have an e commerce store. Let's not call it Shopify, let's call it just e commerce store, right? This is my e commerce store online, my website, right? And I sell uh, dog collars, right? Now, how do I draft traffic to the site, right? It can come from social media, it can come from uh, Google essentially can come from search engines like Google and Bing or social media, which are also search engines, but just imagine that the traffic comes from Google, right? Now, how do you get traffic from Google, right? You can do Google ads or you can do SEO. So when someone search for, search, for example, for um, best dog collars online or buy a blue dog collar or buy a spike or a dog collar with spikes right here, your site pops up first, people click it and they buy something, right? That's the whole gist of it. Now, how do you get the most out of your SEO traffic, right? You have a site, right? And certainly this is, let's call this your homepage. Certainly you're gonna have also a blog page, right? So forward slash blog, right? Your site forward slash blog, right? Where you have a bunch of articles, right? That talk about dog colors, talk about dogs, talk about the different, a lot of different stuff that of course, each one of these individual blog posts targets your keywords, right? Again, we can expand on one of these blog posts, right? This is an individual blog post right here, has a featured image, right? Has a table of contents, has all the content right here with in-article images, uh, in-article videos that are relevant to what the content is about, bullets, tables, quotes, uh, links. So th this posts interlink between each other in a way that makes sense. There's also links back to, for example, Wikipedia, links to, of course, your, your products, right? To your Shopify or to your Amazon listing, right? So linking to your actual products so you can get, make sales, right? And again, your blog is gonna drive traffic to people buying your products, right? And the blog articles usually are the ones that rank on Google, right? If you're typing buying, buying intent keywords, sorry. If you type your brand name, most likely the brand, the homepage is gonna rank, right? But if people don't know about your products, about your brand, most likely, most likely, sorry, they're, they're going to type in keywords that you are targeting in your blog. And if you want to know what keywords to target, I have a video solely on this, but super quick, you have to draw this thing, which I call the keyword matrix, which in the Y axis, you have BI, which is buyer intent, and in the X axis, you have traffic and competition. So you do not want to go here and not want to go here, right? Because low buyer intent, and an example of buyer intent, I'm gonna explain this real quick here. Let's say this is your Shopify store again, you sell uh, dog collars, right? You can have people coming in searching for uh, how much does it cost to buy a dog collar or where can I buy a dog collar? Or you can have people coming in searching for um, how to make a dog collar, right? How to make a dog collar at home, DIY dog collar, right? You do not want these people because people searching for how to make one DIY, DIY, DIY at home, most likely they want to do it themselves. They don't want to buy one. So you want to target these people. How much does it cost? Where to buy one? These keywords have high buying intent. Now, it's not to say, of course, that you shouldn't target these keywords, right? The how to build a dog collar at home or DIY dog collar. You can, right? You can have dedicated blog posts, right? For these keywords, which is good, brings up traffic, increases your domain authority, right? Increases your brand power. It's good, but you should be targeting first high buying intent keywords. So keywords either here or here. So high buying intent, these two quadrants have high buying intent, high buying intent, low traffic. So this is like this, like this. So here is low traffic, low competition, high buying intent. And here is high buying intent, high traffic, high competition. So these are a bit harder. And these are these two quadrants are the keywords one target. Now I have a bunch of videos on this, if you know, like a more detailed explanation, go back to the channel and watch them, but moving on. So let's say again, excuse me, this is the, the blog post you are, you're running, right? Bringing traffic to your site. Now, the thing is, is that this most likely, I mean, if you're watching this video, most likely you speak English, right? This is a blog in English. So ideally the URL could be something like, for example, uh, yoursite.com forward slash blog forward slash English, right? Or for slash blogs like this for slash blog, right? Now what you could have, right? If you of course want to dominate Europe is you're going to have the same thing, but for Portugal, then for Spain, then for Italy, right? Then for Germany, right? You're going to have all of these dedicated 
blogs, right? Each one of these represents a dedicated blog, another one, a dedicated blog page, right? With, of course, each one of these has individual blog posts. These will all be in Portuguese. These will all be in Spanish, right? All targeting the same keywords that English blog is targeting, but in these, each one of these local languages, German, Itali uh, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, right? And you can have and add as many ad languages as you want, right? Your whole goal is to dominate Europe, right? You're going to create a, a blog for each country in Europe, right? That's the whole goal, okay? And now we're going to say, ah, oh, it takes a ton of time. Yes, but the reality is that the non-speaking, uh, non-English speaking countries are much, much less competitive, right? There is much less um, supply for the whole demand that there is, right? There's much le many less people creating content in each one of these local languages, in French, in Portuguese. I'll give an example. For example, for Portuguese, we have a client that uses this uh, AI writer to produce, actually the case study is here, to produce um, content. This is actually a, a fintech company, very well known. It's called Rauva. They produce content in Portuguese, right? And because the Portuguese market, there's not a lot of content uh, in terms of uh, financial type content, right? What's a tax, how to pay taxes, what's accounting, how to find an accountant, right? They were able to dominate and starting to dominate slowly the Portuguese market. So they just created a blog, set up the auto blogging with this, this tool that allows you to produce blog posts with images, links, videos, and all this. I'll show you in a second here how it works. And they were able to dominate the market. Why? Because in Europe, it's much less competitive than, for example, the, if you're targeting the Australian markets, Canada, US, right? All these English speaking markets, there's a ton of competition. But for Europe, there isn't, right? And so what you can do here again is have all these blog posts. This applies to anything, right? This applies to e-commerce stores. Uh, in the case of this one, these guys are fintech. These guys, by the way, they, they bought a bank for 35 million. So they're they're big guys. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there to show you that, in fact, big companies, seven-figure companies are doing this. And so if they're doing it with success, as you see here, you can do it too, right? And so let me show you real quick here how the content looks like. I think it's important that I show you how it looks like because you don't want to just generate some random content. And oftentimes people think, ah, oh, it's AI generated, it sucks. The reality is that the issue isn't it being AI generated. The issue is that you can, it doesn't really matter if it's a human, a dog or a robot writing it, as long as it satisfies the user search intent. That's why it's very important that you build out your keyword, keyword matrix, right? Um, it's going to rank, right? Because you can write bad content being a human, you can write bad content being uh, using AI, right? The, the, the issue here isn't AI or, or human, it's the type of content, right? So again, here's how it looks like. For example, this is for the uh, golden retriever niche, dog grooming niche. These are all done with AI, right? There's the featured image. I can skim through these ones. There's a table of contents right here, proper content structure with in-article images, uh, more images here. Uh, there should be a video down here, so a video, a video that's relevant to what the content is about, right? Uh, there's also links, as you see here, links to other posts, links to products, affiliate links to my own products, external links, inter ex internal links, there's a bunch of stuff right here. So this is actually a valuable article, right? And so you can do, go through these and you can publish them through your to integration one by one, uh, or you can just click here, publish all at the same time, publish all three. By the way, real quick here, integrations can be anything you want. It can be, like I said, your Shopify store or a WordPress site, Ghost, Weeks, Webflow Blogger, so you probably can use even external API. But yeah, my goal here is to show that you can dominate Europe. And we have actually case studies of people doing it, as I showed you before, this uh, FinTech company that it's doing it, it's doing it, sorry. It, you can apply this to all these countries, right? And if you're an e-commerce store selling, selling all throughout Europe, there's no reason why you shouldn't be producing content in the local language, right? Because that's how you can grab a lot of these people, right? super easily. And I'll tell you this because no one else is doing it, right? If you can get in and do it first, you're going to win. And to end the video, an analogy I like to use is that you got to think about AI as a tool. This is a wrench, right? A tool which you can leverage, right? Yeah, you can tie it on a bolt with your hand or you can use this, right? The wrench, you can do it faster, more effectively, right? AI is the same thing, right? AI is this tool, right? And you can, let me just do this, you can go up the stairs, right, and do keyword research manually, write the content manually, right, put images in the, in the blog post, put videos, put links, right, do all this manually, or you can just use AI and you skip ahead of the line. You're using a tool. You're leveraging AI as a technology, as a tool to go fast and further. That's why AI is super powerful. On top of that, this also does indexing of the content for you automatically, also syndicates the content to social media. It also gives you, if you're having trouble with finding the right keywords, right, just go here, add your site, add your country, add your language, and it will give you a list of keywords you can target, right? And then you can just have the AI produce content based off of these keywords. Super cool. Now, 
How do you automate, automate sorry, all this process? Quite simple, how do you automate, how do you, how do you create multiple blog posts, multiple, blo multiple blogs, sorry, multiple blog pages with individual blog posts for each individual language automatically? Just go here to auto blogs, click here, new auto blog, add your auto blog. I won't go here right now, it's quite simple, right? Uh, if you want a tutorial, there's a tutorial on the channel. Create multiple auto blogs, one for each language, and have them produce content on autopilot. So essentially, what you're doing is you're connecting the AI with your site and it's doing the keyword research for you. Then it's doing the generation of the content, that's a G based off of this keyword research. Then it's doing the content publishing automatically to your site, then the content indexing, so it's publishing the content right here, right? It's indexing it on Google, and finally, it's syndicating it to social media, right? It's gonna create posts on LinkedIn, on Twitter, which is now called X, and Facebook automatically for you, right? And this is for one blog, you can do this. This is super the English blog, it does it for the Portuguese blog, right? Automatically, it does it for the Spanish blog, right? It does it for all the blogs you wanna create, all of these on autopilot. Super cool, and that's exactly how you can dominate Europe easily, relatively easily. I guess not easily, but simply, right? Not never, nothing's ever easy. But yeah, this is how you dominate Europe. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.